Hello curious minds, have you ever looked at Saturn's magnificent rings and wondered, how long will they last? The truth is planetary rings are not forever, some are vanishing right now, while others might form again in the distant future. So what's happening to the rings of our solar system? Let's dive into the fate of these wonders. Rings might look like delicate cosmic halos, but they actually come from violent and chaotic events. In our solar system, planetary rings form in two main ways, from collisions and from material that never became a moon. Let's break them down. So sometimes a moon gets too close to its planet and crosses a critical point called the Roche limit. Here the planet's gravitational pull is stronger than the moon's own gravity, tearing it apart into countless fragments. Over time these shattered pieces spread out forming a ring, but moons aren't the only victims. Comets or asteroids can also crash into a planet's existing moons, breaking them into dust and debris, some of which may settle into rings. This could be how Saturn and Uranus got their rings. Not all rings come from destruction. Some are leftovers from a planet's formation. Billions of years ago, when planets were forming, some material was too close to the planet to come together as a moon. Instead, it stayed in orbit as a disk of rock, dust, and ice, eventually becoming rings. Jupiter's faint rings might be remnants of this ancient process. And one important thing to note, rings are not static, they constantly change. Some gain new particles from passing comets, while others lose material as it spirals into the planet or gets pushed away by solar radiation. So, rings form in chaos, but their beauty is fleeting. And that brings us to the big question, how long will they last? Planetary rings may look timeless, but in reality they are constantly changing, and eventually, they will disappear. So, why don't rings last forever? The answer comes down to gravity, collisions, and slow but steady erosion. Planets have powerful gravitational forces, and their moons play a big role in shaping and even destroying rings. Some moons act like shepherds, keeping ring particles in place. Others disrupt the rings, scattering material or even stealing it. Saturn's moon Enceladus, for example, actually feeds its planet's E-ring with icy material from its geysers. But over time, gravitational interactions change the structure of rings, either stretching them out or pulling particles into the planet. Space isn't empty. It's filled with micrometeoroids, tiny rock fragments flying at high speeds. When these hit ring particles, they break them apart into smaller and smaller pieces. Eventually, some of this dust gets pushed away by sunlight in a process called radiation pressure, making the rings fade over time. For planets with rings close to their atmosphere, like Saturn, there's another problem, atmospheric drag. The planet's upper atmosphere slowly pulls in ring material, making it fall as ring rain. NASA's Cassini mission confirmed that Saturn is losing its rings at an alarming rate. So while the stunning rings we see today are temporary, the universe is always changing. The real question is, are we lucky to be seeing them at all? The rings we see today won't be around forever. Let's take a closer look at the fate of the rings around each planet in our solar system. Saturn's rings are the brightest and most stunning in the solar system, but they're also disappearing the fastest. NASA's Cassini spacecraft discovered that Saturn's gravity is pulling in tons of icy ring material every second. At this rate, Saturn's rings could vanish within just 100 to 300 million years. Jupiter's rings are thin and dusty, barely visible compared to Saturn's. These rings form from dust kicked up by tiny moon impacts, but they don't last long. Because they are so close to the planet, Jupiter's intense gravity and atmosphere slowly pull them in. Scientists think Jupiter's rings will fade completely in just a few million years. Uranus has dark thin rings and their future is uncertain. Unlike Saturn's icy rings, Uranus's rings contain a lot of rocky material, meaning they don't erode as quickly. However, some of its rings appear to be spreading out, which could mean they are slowly dispersing into space. Over the next hundreds of millions of years, Uranus's rings may either vanish or reform in new ways. However, since no spacecraft has closely studied Uranus's rings since Voyager 2 in 1986, there is some uncertainty in how quickly they are eroding. Neptune's rings are among the most unstable in the solar system. When Voyager 2 flew by in 1989, it captured images of clumpy, incomplete rings, and recent observations suggest these rings are already breaking apart. Neptune's rings may disappear completely within just a few thousand to a few million years, the shortest lifespan of any planetary rings in the solar system. 
But since we only have limited data, there's some uncertainty, but it's likely that Neptune will lose its rings first. Factors like moon interactions, new debris from collisions or unexpected processes could alter these lifespans. Some rings may last longer than predicted while others may disappear faster. Fast forward hundreds of millions of years, and the solar system could look very different. Saturn's breathtaking rings may be gone. Neptune's and Jupiter's rings could be a distant memory. Only Uranus might hold on to its dusty remains. But could new rings form in the future? We've talked about how planetary rings are disappearing. But does that mean the solar system will eventually be ringless? Not necessarily. Rings may be temporary, but new ones can form under the right conditions. One way new rings could form is if a moon gets too close to its planet. When this happens, the planet's gravity overpowers the moon's own gravity, ripping it apart. If a moon crosses this invisible boundary, the Roche limit, it can shatter into millions of pieces creating a fresh set of rings. Scientists believe this may have happened in the past, and it could happen again in the future. For example, Saturn's moon Phoebe or Neptune's moon Triton could one day break apart and form new rings. Mars might also have its time to shine. Phobos, the larger and closer of Mars's two moons, is slowly spiraling inward toward the planet. In about 30 to 50 million years, Phobos is expected to cross the Roche limit, meaning Mars's gravity will tear it apart. Instead of crashing directly into the planet, Phobos's debris could spread out into a temporary ring system before eventually falling into Mars. This would make Mars the only rocky planet in the solar system with a ring. However, it likely wouldn't last long. Maybe just a few million years before the debris falls into the atmosphere or reforms into a small moon. Moons don't just fall apart on their own. Sometimes they get smashed to pieces by asteroid or comet impacts. If a large enough collision happens, the debris can spread out and settle into a ring before eventually forming new moons or drifting away. This might explain how some of Uranus's dark rings formed. If another big impact happens in the future, Uranus could gain even more rings. And sometimes a passing asteroid or comet gets caught in a planet's gravity. If this object breaks apart, either from tidal forces or a collision, it could create a temporary ring system. Jupiter's faint rings likely formed from dust knocked off its small moons, and a similar process could happen again. So, rings don't last forever, they come and go throughout the history of our solar system. The question is, which planet will get the next great ring system? So the stunning rings we see today won't last forever, but who knows? Maybe one day, a new set of rings will form around another planet, creating a whole new cosmic spectacle. What do you think? And if you could visit any planet's rings, which one would you choose? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey through space, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an adventure. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.